Hello everybody, Double J101 back again with another video, and continuing this week's hard to find Transformers, we are going to do Robots in Disguise 2.0 Bludgeon. Now this guy never actually appeared around in my area at all. I found him when I was up doing work in Iowa, and I thought, you know what, this one being so hard to find works great for this week and this theme that I am pulling off. So let's go ahead and take a quick look at the package. First we see Decepticon Bludgeon here in his tank mode, as well as the figure inside of the bubble, which looks pretty nice. Up here on top, we see Bludgeon in cartoon artwork, which resembles, I guess, what he would look like inside R.I.D. I have actually never seen the show, never thought about looking at the show. It didn't really appeal to me. I only have a few other figures from R.I.D., two of them, well, three of them actually aren't even open yet. The other one I have that really mattered the most to me was Starscream. Here we see another picture of Bludgeon Warrior Class, and on the back, 13 steps to get Bludgeon from his robot mode to his tank mode and back. Something I noticed with this figure, they don't actually have a bio on the back, so I guess that's what the cartoon is for, or if maybe you download this thing and go from there. I don't know, not really familiar with this set, but again, a pretty sweet looking figure. So let's go ahead, without further ado, and get him open and see how cool he is. And here we have Bludgeon in his tank mode and out of his packaging, and overall he's actually pretty cool looking. I, I'm not a huge fan of R.I.D., not really, like I said before, I haven't really seen much of it. The figures are only okay, they're more marketed towards a younger audience and not really a collector, older collector like me. But overall, it's a pretty interesting looking tank, so to get a little closer view here, we have nice silver detail throughout the front cannon as well as the sword. There's also good storage here on top for the sword if you have it nice and straight, like so, a little better. Paint's a little off on my sword, but that's all right, I'll live. Uh, otherwise, you see in the back back here the Decepticon logo with his hands pretty much hanging off the back. But again, not too crazy of a transformation, pretty easy. Here on the sides, we have good molding detail where the, where the sides of the tank will be, here where the wheels are. He does actually roll, which is pretty cool as well. And here on the front, we see the front part of the tank where the purple and orange would be on whatever kind of maybe Cybertronian tank this would be. I don't really know. All I know is it's actually pretty cool. Now, I know this guy and Twinferno, and I think it's not Bisque. I can't think of who the other one is. It's not Bisque, I'm pretty sure. But those three, any kind of late wave Transformers, are always really hard to come by. And this one was really, really hard to come by. Luckily, I did find them, when, like I said, when I was up doing work in Iowa. But here in St. Louis, I have not noticed these guys at all. Nowhere hitting around here at all. Same with Twinferno and the other one. I, I picked up all three of them while I was in Iowa, but really, so it's just really hard to come by. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the transformation. Overall, it's pretty simple. Let's just go ahead and disconnect the sword here. Toss it to the side for the moment. Down here at the legs, separate from the middle of the tank and kind of straighten these out. These side pieces are going to rotate around and in. So this piece will rotate around. Bring this down. Same for this side. Rotate this around. Bring that down. Legs are pretty much done. Up here for the top, you're going to separate the arms, which has a pretty good connection there once you have it connected. Disconnect these. Good ratchet joint here. Here's a ball joint connecting the arm to the chest, but here is a nice ratchet joint right there where the shoulders are. So then you just take this arm, rotate that down. Before you bring this piece up, you're going to Rotate the head up if yours stays connected. You're gonna rotate the head upwards. Man, mine is just falling apart. There we go, nice and straight. Get them all worked out there. These arms, just rotate them. Get them the correct way. Hiding the gaping hole in the bottom of them. Back here, you can just take this piece of the cannon, fold it down, get it out of the way. And there you have Bludgeon in his robot mode. Of course, for bludgeon, you can go ahead and take his sword, put it right into his hand there. It's a nice looking sword. Stays in his hand really well, which I do like. And even back here for these cannons, you can disconnect them, plug them into his hand like so. And he has a gun as well. It's a thing you can do, and I think it's pretty cool. Articulation for this figure is actually pretty nice. We have rotation here at 
rotation out here at the shoulder as well as some rotation here for the bicep up and down motion for the elbow some waist rotation here head can go side to side cannot go up and down and for the legs straight out kind of to the back and rotation here at the thigh some of the knee is pretty good as well but really not too bad for articulation as for detail on this figure overall it's pretty good i really do like the face sculpt really good skeleton face with purple in the eyes the nice red helmet that you would expect with bludgeon at least these days you would good paint detail throughout with the orange and black with the red and green it really does complement each other which overall it's just a good looking figure but overall that's about it for bludgeon i really do like this guy not again i'm not gonna go out and decide to just get a whole bunch of these rid figures i don't really know if they're worth it a lot of them they don't really have the detail the kind of road just movement just how the figure looks it's just not really my cup of tea i guess you can say but there are a few out there that i do like this one's one of them and i'm pretty excited to get twinferno open at some point and starscream just because it's starscream and he's just my my favorite so overall this guy i just like him and i think if you were to buy any of these kind of figures i think bludgeon would be a pretty good one to pick up Good articulation, good looking figure all around. But that's about it for this video. This is number two for this week, so stay tuned for number three at the end of the week. There is a pretty good figure that I plan on opening for that day. At least I, ho I hope you all enjoy. It's another hard to come by, and it was really hard to come by for the type of figure it was. If you like this video, please like, subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you if you already did. I have a few playlists out there. This is actually video number 50 which just blows my mind that I've been doing it this long in general. But I hope, you know, overall, you guys are enjoying. But again, that's about it. So before I blabber too much more, thank you again for watching, and I will talk to you again on the next episode. See you then.